this is amazing. Playing the drums, playing synth bass, singing, I mean, you're doing three people in one. Mm. And so how do you navigate all of that? I have to just think about it being music, and I have to understand the limitations of it. And sometimes it's whole notes on the keyboard or, or a set bass line that is, you know, a clave of some kind or a pattern. And it all relates back to rhythm and it all relates back to the drum set for me. And I feel like it's a whole body experience for me, you know, with the singing too. So it's, it's all of these things going on, but it has to be music. You have to allow yourself to be simple in many different ways. You can't try to be three different people. It's just about the band, the compositions, you know, therefore you will hit some walls sometimes in terms of, you know, improvisation and what you're able to do. So it's, it's understanding those things and it's, it's a work in progress. Is there anything that you sort of actually used to practice when you're in the practice room? Can you demonstrate a little bit? Sure. Okay. It's almost like sometimes it reminds me of rudiments or something. You know, like some things like that. And I'm keeping the drums fairly simple, you know, and then drums in this band most of the time have to be meaty and simple, you know, like and with low tuning, so, so I have the depth of the sound that I don't have to rely on having two hands, you know. And then, uh, it's no different to me sometimes than if I was playing the bell of the ride cymbal. just a groove and, and working on all of those things. It definitely needs to be more practicing, I have to say, in terms of just working on playing this and feeling comfortable. And then there's other things too, like holding notes. You know, you know, I can just, you know, you know just playing, uh, holding a note here and then just free to kind of play whatever or sing whatever. There's just so many ways to do it. It's just being comfortable with all those things, you know, yeah. Okay. I have a question for you, Jack. Can you sort of explain exactly what a modular synth does? The wires that you put in, are they very specific to, to create the sound that you have in the synth? Yeah, they're essential to, to the sound. How you patch it, with the patch cables, where you put them, determines what comes out. There's basically nothing preset in any of the modules themselves. You have to tell them what to do. So basically, it's it's made up of many individual modules, which is a, you know one piece that has one basically one purpose. So there's oscillators which create the sound. There's filters which change the tone, the timbre of the sound. There's voltage controlled amplifiers which deal with the volume of the sound. And then there's control modules which are basically like individual invisible hands turning the knobs, controlling everything and control the rhythm pitch and tone and timbre. And some of those control several elements at once. So I basically have four patches with this band set up. Let me demonstrate them actually. Synthesizer will be playing bass, and I'll control the pitch from this little keyboard controller over here. So on top of that, so that's basically used when Josh is playing drums with two hands, not playing his keyboard, or the keyboard's playing a high sound, and I'll be playing a high sound on the bass on top of that. Does that happen a lot? It happens on, I think, three or four songs, mm -hmm. and a few, and a couple of covers that we do. It, and it's really a peak sound for us, and we can think about it when we write. It's probably when we're at our, our biggest yeah. sound, is, especially the biggest room kind of sound bigger than either of us. You both come from a place of improvisation because you're both schooled 
as jazz musicians. How much does improvising come into play when it comes to performance? And for you, Josh, uh, is there actually space allowed to improvise in your performances? And do you take those opportunities? Yes. You know, usually, uh, in the intro of a song, I specifically will have a chance to kind of do whatever. I could just play the groove, the hook to the song, and perhaps Jeff is switching one of his sounds. A lot of times there are sound changes between songs, so one of us takes the opportunity to improvise. So, so for me, you know, I could do anything, starting, start the groove, or, and you know, there's room to, to really come up with something which can be great and, and sometimes not, you know, but it's a beautiful part about the music. And a lot of times in the outro of a song, we will also have the opportunity to make something happen, you know. I mean, we do write songs, so there are set parts, and because of our setup, a lot of times we choose to play those parts. And it is a certain thing, as you said, we're, we're both natural improvisers, so, you know, we can take that opportunity in many places. And Jeff, so for you, especially with the modular synth, is there any improvising capabilities with this type of instrument while you're playing? It's pretty limited in terms of this, how I'll change the sound during a performance. There are a few knobs that I can turn that will change the sound of each patch. That's tough while my hands are tied up with the bass. Yeah. But I actually do have a sound design on the bass where the sound is delayed, so it actually the sound comes out almost a full second after I play the notes, which is actually convenient to then free up my right hand to change the note on the synthesizer or to turn it off mid-song. I just wanted to mention that the relationship between the modular synth and the drums is huge. Um, the modular synth uh, acts as a percussion section and or rhythm guitarist, if you will, with the drums. So if you'll notice, I don't have a hi-hat, I don't have a lot of drums. So it's very minimal, which you know is, is great for me, <laughs> and also, but the way that the drums work with the modular synth is, is huge, and the, the lining up of, of the, that completes the groove, makes it a full sound, and there are moments where the modular synth is not playing, and it really can uh, accentuate a section when Jeff brings it in or, or takes it out on those songs. It, it's really huge for us. You explaining this kind of relationship that you have with all the instruments that you're playing, I, I have a better understanding of what is going on. Even though when I'm listening, I'm not paying attention to any of that. It's because it feels so full. Thank you so much.